this is a quick video to help you maximize the visibility of tracks in the LaSalle's cloud chamber. First off, we need to make sure that we're definitely using the right alcohol. It needs to be isopropyl alcohol or propantuol. We also need to make sure that the vents on the chamber lid are fully closed and that the chamber wall is securely fastened to the base, so that needs to be pushed on. Now this is all important because it means that it's trapping the vapour inside of the chamber and creating those conditions that we need for cloud formation. Lighting can also be a pain, so it might be best to turn off the room lights and solely depend on the LED lighting on the unit. Every unit also ships with one of these, which is a little piece of polystyrene, which we call the high voltage biscuit. Now we can use this to remove old ions from the chamber and we do that by rubbing it on our clothes and then plonking it on top of the chamber and taking this on and off as many times as we need to. And when we do that, it should prompt some emissions. You can also use a yellow duster for the same thing. So you just take a duster and rub the walls and it should have the same effect of deionizing the chamber. What can also help is improving the thermal gradient from going from cold to hot. So what we can do is put a hot cup of tea, for example, on top of here and just seeing if that helps the traces at all. We're here to support you, so please let us know how we can help. Thanks for watching.